The lower mounting pin on the bow extension cylinder. In newer models, it's a six millimeter pin with a circlip on each side. In older models, 90 through 94, it actually is an um, Allen or Torx head pin that gets unscrewed um, with access from the inside when the rear bow is all the way down and the top is down. Um, but in newer models, we have to remove one of the circlips, meaning the outer circlip. Oops, that's barely visible in this video. The, we have to remove the outer circlip here in order to uh, later on pull the pin out once we have access to it. So to remove this circlip, we have to have the top up and the rear bow up and we just um, keep turning this uh, clip until we're able to hook the flat screwdriver into um, a gap and um, you're forgiven if this clip goes flying because they go flying on me too. Um, if you had a magnet nearby that would probably catch it but um, you'll just have to find it again and Top Hydraulics um, supplies spare clips with the bow extension cylinders anyway. Now while we're at it, while we're having this shot in the video, let me show how you put the clip back on later when you're reinstalling the cylinder. Um, the trick actually is a dab of grease on your screwdriver. Put that down in the area where the circlip goes onto the cylinder and um, then it's fairly easy to um, put the clip to get the clip to adhere to the surface on the frame. Let's uh, put the clip just on the screwdriver and the grease will uh, make it stay in place. Now we transfer it over to the frame. Now you can see the clip sitting on the uh, soft top frame right where it's supposed to go and it's a little bit harder for me not to get into the way of the camera so we just push down on this clip and more luck next time push down on the clip until it's uh, properly seated So in the center of the picture you see the micro switch assembly on the uh, left bow extension cylinder. We have um, already pushed on the shaft of the main lift cylinder so things are more visible. Um, the top is up, the rear bow meaning the rear window section of the soft top is up and at the highest point, if you call the highest point 90 degrees and the, you then manually move the top back and forth you will see that at say call it 85 degrees that uh, black plastic piece here has moved far enough to uh, push onto the micro switch and trigger it and you can hear the clicking now that is essential that um, it's one of the most frequent failures um, of do-it-yourself uh, recommissioning the top if instructions are not fully uh, followed and accidentally the uh, frame of this micro switch assembly gets crushed on the top then this uh, switch will get sticky and the top will not work right the most common um, symptoms for it are that the top will not unlock when it's uh, fully closed or the top will not raise when it's fully open meaning really your top won't work when this switch is compromised so how does this work the uh, Here's a um, micro switch assembly mounted on this left bow extension cylinder. As the cylinder retracts, the wider end of this rod end, the brass colored thing, lifts the black lever. The black lever, let's take a look from the other side. Nope, 
not too visible it's visible here the black lever actually releases from the micro switch in here and to make things more complicated the micro switch is a normally closed one so when the black lever is pushed up and releases this switch then the electric circuit is actually closed and um, that's the signal the controller needs when the rear bow is up with a top up as well now um, what can go wrong is if instructions aren't fully followed and the fork in the soft top frame down here if this fork pushes down onto this portion of the uh, micro switch frame left side is a good one right side is one that got pushed down then although the black lever still moves it uh, actually does not trigger the switch it looks like it's triggering the switch but it isn't it's actually hitting the housing here first how can we fix this actually quite simple let's um, go with uh, the original cause and undo it so where the frame originally pushed down onto the switch assembly we stick in a small flat screwdriver small steps on each side just keep moving a little bit at a time i haven't rehearsed this one but it seems to be working out pretty well let's just go a little bit at a time here there's a tab in the way that i'm working around and i'll bet you that the switch assembly is now straightened out enough that it'll actually work. Let's see. Down. And uh, not quite yet. So I would have to push a little bit harder to get this to trigger, which means we're going to take this video again. The safest way to avoid crushing the micro switch assembly is to remove it before um, removing the cylinder so we just unscrew the uh, three Phillips screws in the back of the cylinder imagine I had taken them out already let this thing dangle for a moment and then um, we raise the front of the soft top a little bit to get access to the um, little wire channel that is uh, holding the wire on top of the cylinder we get access to that again if we step around and we raise the top a little bit to just take that screw out at that point we can um, move the uh, micro switch assembly out of the way so here we have unscrewed the uh, wire guide on top of the uh, left bow extension cylinder already now we're going to move forward and i'll show you where the wiring harness for that bow extension cylinder is connected that's uh, down here in the frame actually about four inches below the door striker plate and then of course way behind it here we go it's just like always um friction fit and um we can now just feed the wire up here it comes and we move the uh, we close the top again and simply pull the uh, micro switch assembly that we just uh, disconnected wiggle it around a little bit until we have everything out of the way and move things a little bit to get the channel and the wire and here we are we have the micro switch assembly of the left bow extension cylinder okay here comes a tricky one that is removing the uh, 
inner circlip on the upper mounting pin of the bow extension cylinder. Um, you get access to this clip only when the top is partially raised. Ideally you want to have it close to the highest position and um, if you want to get your hand in from behind then you could uh, put a roll of paper towels under the rear bow. Uh, you'll see in a moment why I'm saying that. And partially I'm doing this to stay out of the picture here. Um, so here's the circlip and we want to first rotate it so that we can hook into it and pull it off. I have a magnetic tray behind here that will uh, hopefully catch this pin if it gets lost, no big deal. So we could hook the uh, hook into this pin or if you don't have a hook you could also from the front uh, have two screwdrivers pushing one on each end of the circlip uh, to get it off. So hook in here and pull and it's off. No, it didn't land in the magnetic tray but better luck next time. Oops, actually it fell right behind the uh, rod end so I'll just uh, retrieve that with a magnetic tool. And then we'll move the top such that we can take the upper pin out and finally the lower pin. Okay, here again is the upper mounting pin. I'm just holding a magnet next to it so it doesn't go flying. Um, the position is uh, the rear bow is all the way down this time and that gives us enough room to uh, pull this pin out later on for reinstallation. Well, really easy, just uh, put it back in that way. Now the uh, top is all the way down, retracted inside the storage compartment, and that lets, uh, gives us access to remove the bottom mounting pin on the bow extension cylinder. We, oops, I had to look at it. We grab it with pliers, so the pin is down in there. I'll stick my head in there so I can see it and pull. Now if this pin should be seized on the cylinder, that can happen, then you have another choice. Then you actually remove the circlip while the pin is in here and you um, push the uh, pin through, hammer the pin out with a drift pin towards the inside. The reason we don't normally start out that way is because it's easy to uh, drop that pin and uh, you'll have to retrieve it again. So last step in taking out that uh, bow extension cylinder. We've removed the upper and lower mounting pins already. Now we've moved the top up to rest above the windshield, raised the rear bow. We can now simply pull out the cylinder, remove the hydraulic line mounting clips to remove lines 87 and 96. Uh, note that when you reinstall these lines later, of course you go exactly in reverse order. You want to push the uh, mounting clips in the same direction they go from the left to the right and that way they clear the uh, moving soft top frame and don't get sheared off.